What's poppin'? It's your boy Larry. How y'all doing today? Y'all good? Cause I'm good. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all having a great day? Yeah, you had a great day today? Yep, okay. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Hey, um, let's get straight into this word. Thank y'all for asking how good I am. Appreciate it. Let's get straight to this word. We come from Ephesians chapter 5, verse 32, and it says, And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, as even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Be, forgive. That that's just straight up the top today. Forgive. Yeah, that person hurt you. It's saying be kind to that person. Be kind and tender hearted to one another and forgive each other just as Christ has forgiven you. Imagine that grace that Jesus Christ gave you. Imagine that grace that God gave you that saved you from your sins even though you turned against him many times. Even though you sinned against him many times. Even though you disobeyed him many times. He forgave you, right? So what makes you entitled not to forgive one another? What it's saying is basically saying forgive in this Bible and we're unforgiving we're holding grudges we're being bitter and we're not forgiving we gotta switch this up people we gotta switch this up it's saying to forgive in this bible we're doing one thing we're doing one thing and we, it says one thing we're doing another learn how to forgive that person who hurt you yes forgive them that person who did something against you yes forgive you forgive them that person who may have left yes forgive them it's time to forgive people it's not time to hold grudges we are God's people. We got to act like it. We got to act like it. We can't hold grudges in our hearts against people. We can't hold seeds in our heart against people. I had watched this video about seeds. It was in the, it was um, a man who had a dream about the end of times and how this and that. And he said it seeds in his heart for unforgiveness. And how people had many seeds. And he had seeds in his heart for unforgiveness because he didn't forgive. And... Unforgiveness could lead to death and hell? Yes. It's time to forgive, guys. It's not time to hold grudges. It's time to let it go. They hurt you, yes, but God's has something better for you. It's time to let it go. They hurt you. They ran away from you. Yes, but there's a blessing in the future. Yes, yes, they hurt you. Yes, they did you wrong. Yes, they did you dirty, but forgive them. God wants us to live in love, not hate. God wants us to live in love, not hate. God wants us to forgive, not being unforgiving. We have to have a tender heart, forgiving each other as Christ forgave you. We're supposed to be examples of Jesus Christ, right? Yes, we're supposed to be examples of Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ forgave you. So if we're supposed to be example, why aren't you forgiving that person? Why aren't you forgiving that dude? Why aren't you forgiving that girl? It's time to forgive. I know words hurt. A tongue, it says in James 3 verse 5, the tongue is a small thing, but what enormous damage it could do. Yes, that tongue, that thing that they said against you, yes, it may hurt your feelings. Yes, it may have led you depressed. Yes, you may have never seen yourself the same. Yes, you may have thought a lot about the topic. Yes, but sometimes you just have to forgive. Sometimes you don't have to say, Lord, it's your will. Just you have to say, Lord, it's your will, and it shall be done in the name of Jesus Christ. Sometimes you just know know that God takes revenge for you. Know that God takes revenge for you. God doesn't want us to put revenge in our hands. He doesn't want us to have revenge in our hands, but he wants us to raise it up and give it to him. Because when we give God our re revenge, he, would, he, he knows where that person hurts. He knows how to get him back. Remember, God is all-knowing. He knows everything. He knows everything. God knows everything. So sometimes we just got to forgive. And if you still haven't forgiven that person, I encourage you today. Go forgive that person right now. Don't even stop watching this video. Right after this video, go forgive that person. Go forgive that person. Just, just text that person, I forgive you for this. Or just let it go in your heart. Just tell them all the things that they have done you wrong. And tell them you finally forgave them. Just know that this is not God's will. Just know that you're trying to follow God. And forgive that person. I know many, I had to do this many times, but we just have to forgive. We are examples of Christ. We're so supposed to be an examples of, by the way we act, by the way we speak, and by the way we live in the, our purity. So we, what's not a better example to to forgive and to show others that it's okay to be bold and forgive. It's okay to forgive. It's not uncool or unmanly to forgive. No, it's it's really cool to forgive. It's really manly to forgive because if you don't forgive, it's like, how, why do you want to be in beef with so many people? Why? Like, what? think about your relationship before and how good it was. I know they hurt you, but just forgive them. It's okay. I'm not saying be cool with them. I'm not saying be awesome, but that's just one seed off your heart. Start today and forgive and trust God.
God got a plan for you. I love you. I thank you for watching this video. And just know to forgive. To forgive. Please, let's please God and forgive. Let's please God. I know we can't ever exceed the expectations of God, but let's try to please God today and forgive. I love y'all. Stay blessed and highly favorite. And I thank y'all for watching this video. Keep watching. Keep sharing. Keep subscribing. Keep liking. And I love y'all. Stay blessed and highly favored. And I encourage y'all to forgive just like Jesus Christ did. Because if you never had the forgiveness of Jesus Christ, we would have never been saved. We would never have the opportunity to have eternal life. We would have never been right with God. So forgive and let that person be right with you. Stay blessed and highly favored. Don't hold grudges. Don't be bitter. Love y'all. Stay blessed. Bye. Peace.